both of them, as a matter of fact, it went as it went way wider that both of them were even cousins. Betting it down to Amechi and Yesowike, the both of them did not work hand in glove. Now Yesowike is facing what he has done by bringing in Fubara, and Fubara is not working alongside with him. A lot of persons are stating, what is the issue between these two political stakeholders? Now, Yesu Wike is now seeing it as the fact that Fubara is working with alongside with sort of persons that he did not work with, likes of Sekibo, likes of Le Meba, likes of, you know, Secondus, who is the former uh, PDP national chairman. It's as if Fubara is now working with the enemies of, the political enemies of Yesu Wike. Recall also that yes, Wike has, it, in fact, it is on record that he stated it outrightly that Peter, Dr. Peter Odele's wife made him what he is today. When Secondus almost removed his name as the, you know, second term for his, when he was council chairman of Obiabo, his name was outrightly removed, if not for the intervention of Dr. Peter Odele's wife, being the supreme retired judge that came in and what reinstated Nyeso Mike. But you know, he has forgotten all this. And now he's speaking ill about Peter Obi. He's speaking ill about even Sim Fubara. Speaking ill about Dr. Peter Odele. Speaking ill about virtually everybody. Now look at the antecedent of Nyeso Mike. He has actually worked with Secondus in the, in the PDP, national chairman. He brought in Secondus. He stated that Secondus is not good. He brought in Yochayu. He stated that Yochayu is not you. He has brought in Fubara. He's stating that Fubara is not eligible, that he is apologizing to rivers, indigenous, and residents, that on the appropriate time, he will unseat and do the what is right. That to the fact, your council chairman have the F13 and the status quo to talk to the governor and tell him that if he feels, if he feels he knows what is right, he should come to their constituency to carry out, you know, a, 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 a to, to carry out a local government election that he has failed, notwithstanding. Now, for you to see that Sim Fubara is quite a man that is steadfast in all his dealings, he has continued to mark his and mark his one year in office despite all distractions. You see, when a government is not focused on what they are doing, now you rightly know that yes, they are distracted. But Sim Fubara has not shown any level of distraction. It's not as if we are speaking to side on him, but he is actually brave. To see that this is the country of what is happening in the government because the people's mandate is going to stand all these are centering on what we call political godfatherism and these politicians that are better now if they begin to see that this is not the right way to do and to carry out this then you find that because look at it in Kano state what Kanduje and Kwankwaso are facing their differences is what governor Yusuf is faced because he has reinstated Sanusi and you know, Ganduje's loyalists are now working against him, stating that no, he shouldn't do this. Look at what is happening in River State. You know, because of the differences between Yesumi case and you know, and his other persons who are not in support of what is happening, Simfobara is facing it. So you see that these young governors are more especially the ones that are brave and you know very, very eligible to do what is right, have now started stating, have now started speaking out, notwithstanding. And this is exactly what we have now come to dissect. Yes, I believe you have exactly heard all what has been dissected on this particular matter. Like I said, we often come live and make sure we detail these informations in details. Don't forget to always tune in when we come live and we often make sure we are here to detail you all the informations. Share this video, like this video, and do well to often hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more updates.